Hi guys, this is lesson number 34 from our Coral Raw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful peeling effect on the text. In Coral Raw, if you want to flip the corner, we have that type of effect. We can do that. But if you want to flip the text this way, you want to peel, we need to do it manually. This, this is very simple technique that we can use to create this type of beautiful effect. Let me show you this effect and text is divided in different parts. As you can see that here we have a brown text. This is the main text. If I will click, this text is with the shadow. Look at this, Control Z undo. And here in this area you can see that light brown color we have in this part. And if I will click it, you can see that this is also intersected part from the same text. And in the front here we have peeling effect. This is also another copy of the same text that we have here intersected part and we flip it and we apply gradient color in this. As you can see that it is just like this undo. And you might be thinking that it is a curve. You can see that there is a nice curve here. So for this thing, we use the shape tool to create this curve manually on this part. This is to make it a little bit more realistic. This type of effect you can apply on the name or you can apply on the header it's really look beautiful so without any further ado let's get started let's see how it's done i'm going to move these things to the side here zoom tool zoom with the page height the first thing here we are going to do is we are going to type text so we'll go to the text tool here we have text tool and simply type text. I am going to type our channel name. You can type anything you want. And to click on pick tool. Simply we are going to apply some bold font. As you can see that here. If I will click. I have Arial Black. I have Impact. Let's apply Impact. You can try any bold font you have in your computer. I apply Impact. And I am going to resize it this way. You can see that the text has been resized and uh, we are going to fill with the color. Let's bring our color palette out here. Bring the mouse on the top here. You can see that dotted area. Once your mouse cursor, it will be changed into this double headed arrow plus sign. You can just drag it out. We can expand from the corner. So we can see all color. Let's fill with the brown. Here we have simple text with the brown color. Now I'm going to use pen tool to intersect the upper part. So here we have pen tool. In your case, it might be freehand tool. Previously, I used pen tool. So it is here. You can click on pen tool. Simply click this way. Just to create a shape. So here we have this shape is selected with the pick tool. I will press shift key and click the text. Now both of them are selected and we got here option. You can see that trim, intersect, weld. So we are going to use intersect. Click on intersect. So you can see that here we have an intersected part. If we want, we can fill with a different color. Let's apply some other color. Okay. So this is the color we have here. Now we don't need this part. We can delete this. And this intersected part is independent shape. Okay. We are going to press plus key to make a duplicate and simply mirror it vertically. Click on this button here, mirror it vertically. Look at this. This part is flipped. Go to view, snap and object snap. If it is active, you will be able to connect it from corner to corner from point to point. I will just connect it here. So once I connect it, what we need to do, we need to click in the middle. Okay. And the rotation point, I will bring it to this point here. Just click and drag it here. So once I will rotate now, Coral Draw will rotate this part from this point. So I will bring my mouse to the side here and look at this nicely. I can just bring it here. All right. That is fine. And perfectly we can attach point to point once we will use shape tool to modify this part. So for now it is okay. I am going to fill some other color. Let's apply different color. So here we have. Now we are going to use shape tool to modify this 
tax we are going to apply a little bit curve here so it will give a realistic look for this thing i will use shape tool and click on this point here you can see that once i click on this point convert to curve option it is active if i will click you can see that i got here two points but we need two point here so for this thing i can click anywhere here on this segment and click on convert to curve so we have here directional handles so we can use this way to modify this part a little bit all right and this side also i will click it click somewhere here on the segment and click on convert to curve and just give little bit curve this way look at this and here also if i want i can select it okay all right that is fine and now the next here we have n so click anywhere on this segment here and click on convert to curve use this directional handle to move this way and from this side also click on this segment here and apply convert to curve okay same way we are going to do the same process with the other letters convert to curve okay and here also so i just paused the video and did for you because it's take time while recording it is done already and uh, you can see that here from this side the alignment a little bit it is not perfect so using shape tool we can just simply move this point to the other point we can connect it this way look at this all right so this how we can fix it now our peeled effect it is ready we are going to apply gradient color so here we have uh, our interactive fill tool you can click it and click and drag just this way we have two colors and uh, this is really light gray we can apply some other shade just to observe the gradient okay so we'll just move it out a little bit and make sure that the object snap control is not active so freely you can move if this color bar it's coming in the front click on the other point and then again come back to that point okay that is fine and now we are going to fill similar color that you can see here we have brown and uh, bright color this side white leave it as it is and here we are going to fill another color so let's try some color from here click and drag to this point so you can see that this how we get this nice effect now the remaining things here is the shadow for this text and the background so let's apply background first use rectangle tool to create simple shape at the back of this text okay i am going to fill it with a color let's apply some light color object order to back of the page so you can see that this how the text and the effect is clear and now the remaining thing is the shadow click on this text the main text we have here and simply go to the drop shadow and here we need to choose the preset this one perspective top right okay so it is applied from these points you can adjust it slightly move it down maybe this way and if you want you can apply similar color let's apply some brown color dark brown okay that is fine color combination in this effect you can apply according to your specific need but you need to apply the color it looks realistic similar color so that's all i can move the palette here and uh, click on zoom tool and we can observe our effect so this how with a single intersect command we achieve this beautiful result on the text i hope you enjoy this lesson try to practice
guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you